everyone. My name is Elaga, and it's such an honor to have you join us here at Arise this morning. I'm coming to you live from the TKP studios located at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. If you don't already know, it is October 1st. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God has taken us through the nine months of this year, 2023. Can you believe it? I know I can. Well, here at the King's Palace, our theme for this month is divine covenant. And I pray that every covenant upon your life shall be divine in Jesus' name. Now, as you know, the King's Palace is a wonderful, wonderful church that loves to extend the hands to our people in order to connect them to our church. But not just that, but ensure that everyone has an opportunity to be in the presence of God. Let's just start with what has happened in the past weekend, our past weekend. Now, as you know, 168 hours of praise takes place on the last week of the year. And for this year, we have started the 247 Prep Show. And as of yesterday, episode three was streamed. If you missed it, go back and watch it. It was wonderful and it is something you do not want to miss. Now, this past weekend, the Houston Heaven and Fire Conference was hosted right here in our amazing sanctuary. We would like to thank Pastor Mike and Boman Wanebo for choosing this sanctuary to be the hosts, hosting ground of the conference. Now, if you missed it, don't worry. You can always go back and watch the live streams. But Pastor Mike will also be here to preach during the first and second service. Now, that is something you truly do not want to miss. Now, the launching of the Trumpet Magazine is happening today. If you didn't hear me, I said it's today. Wonderful. It is taking place at 10 a.m. right at the beginning of the second service. If you're in the sanctuary, you're going to be here and honestly get to see this award-winning magazine be relaunched. If you're online, thank you so much for staying tuned in, and I hope you don't miss this amazing event. Now, this Sunday is full of amazing events. Occurring this evening is the live theatrical performance of The Land. This amazing play was written by our own evangelist, Mike Bamiloye, and directed by Elvin Jarrett. Now, this event starts at 7 p.m. Did you hear that? 7 p.m. But red carpet starts at 6.30. Come and be blessed. Stream online. May Have a hosting party. Have a streaming party. Do all that you can. It's something you don't want to miss. I promise you. Now, this event is taking place right here in the sanctuary. Again, address 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. All right, we're almost done. I promise. I promise we're almost done. Now, as of this weekend, the first ever Global Marriage Conference is taking place. It will be hosted by our world-renowned evangelist, Mike and Gloria Bamiloye. Now, this starts off and kicks off right here in the sanctuary, 7 p.m. on Friday. And then on Saturday, there are actually two events. There will be the teaching and Q&A session that is 100% virtual on at 12 p.m. Again, it's at 12 p.m. And then there will be a following banquet that will also be part of our women's banquet starting at 5 p.m. Remember, this is Saturday. Saturday? Great. Saturday, October 7th. And then ending off on Sunday will be the grand finale to commemorate their 35th anniversary and their Thanksgiving. You don't want to miss it. All right. I know it's been a lot, but just two more things. Come on. Bear with me. Two more, two more things. You guys got this. Now, our men's week will also be occurring this month. It starts October 20th and goes all the way through the 22nd. This will be a wonderful time hosted by our very own Kingdom Men. On the Friday will be the family movie night. And then Saturday will be the couple's banquet. And then the men's Thanksgiving would be that Sunday. More information is coming throughout the month. But just mark this in your calendars. If you don't, I'll go tell the men's president. I'm watching you. Now, the grand finale for the news of today. Our revised service hours. Now, as of October 8th, again, October 8th, first service will be taking place at 8.30 a.m. Again, this is 8.30 a.m., running through 9.30 a.m. Arise will now be shifted to 9.30 a.m. till 10 a.m., and second service will still be at the same time at 10 a.m., ending promptly at 11.30 a.m. Please, please, please do not forget this. If you are a usual first service comer, ensure that you are here by 8.30 a.m., no longer 9 a.m. Great. 
Now, this also changes our children's church check-in time. First service check-in time is now at 8.20 a.m. and closes at 8.45 a.m., while second service times now starts at 9.45 a.m. and ends at 10.20 a.m. This is now our set schedule. Now, thank you so much for staying tuned in, but there is still more on our rise, so please stay tuned in as we enter this short interview. Get ready for the moment of learning, fellowship, and fun at the Global Marriage Conference Season 1. Brought to you by our CCJ The King's Palace, KT Texas, in commemoration of the remarkable 35 years of marital journey of Evangelist Mike and Gloria Bamiloy as they inspire couples worldwide during this Kingdom Impact Marriage Conference. Kick it off on Friday, October 6th at 7 p.m. CST with an electrifying hybrid event giving you the chance to participate in person or join us virtually from anywhere in the world. On Saturday, October 7th, starting at 12 p.m. CST, we're going 100% virtual with insightful sessions, teachings, and uncommon Q&A session that will enrich your marriage and your relationships. But that's not all. Saturday evening on the same day at 4.30 p.m., join us for an in-person grand and ceremonies banquet with the annual TKP Women's Banquet, a night of elegance and celebration. Finally, do not miss the grand finale on Sunday, October 8th. Featuring a special Sunday service, featuring the fact that the anniversary of Thanksgiving for the Babylonians that promises to be unforgettable. Join us at the exclusive 5371 East 5th Street, KT, Texas, or catch the excitement streaming live on all TKP social media platforms. It's a celebration of love, a journey of faith, and a conference like no other. Stay the date and be part of this extraordinary event. Don't miss it. October 6th, all events will be streaming on TKP streaming platforms. See you there. Be honest. When was the last time you took your spouse out on a romantic dinner outside of home or restaurant? Every couple deserves to have a quality time for leisure and relaxation in an inspirational and romantic atmosphere with some nice love music. Mm. This is why the Men's Fellowship of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, has organized and invited you to our couple's banquet of building a romantic and healthy marriage, a night of fun, dance, vow renewal, couple's game, and special message. Date is Saturday, October 21st, 2023 by 5 p.m. CST at TKP Pavilion. Absolutely free for all couples. For more information or sponsorship support, contact 773-837-5638 or 718-866-5903. A romantic date night you don't want to miss. Thank you so much for staying tuned in to Arise. Now with me is a very special guest who is also a part of the Men's Executive Board. Sir, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Sunday Adebinte, one of the Men's Executive within TKP. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor Adebinte, do you mind if I pick on the men a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. I love everybody equally and I respect everyone. But nowadays, it seems that the men are not so prevalent in the church. Like, we don't feel or see their presence. Now, first, let me ask, do you agree? And if so, why do you think that is? Indeed, I, I, I do agree with you, mm -hmm. 100%. And indeed, not that they are not doing so much, but they are doing it underground mm. and not being seen. Mm -hmm. Because I, I discovered that within TKP, you see, whatever that happens within the family, you know, reflects in the church. That's true. So, and the opportunity the women had is that they were able to put all their activities, putting it together and showcase it quickly. But unlike men, they work at the background. And they still remain at the background. Mm -hmm. Very true. And before you know it, you see people not even seeing them at all. Yeah. As if they were dormant. But 
the reason why we are organizing this program is to bring us out, especially within the family sector. Mm -hmm. Family sector, I mean, husband and wife. Mm -hmm. There are some issues around husband and wife, around marriage, around how to deal with each other that is somehow, you know, not clear. And it tends to, to be used by some men or some women in a, in a screwed way. So we want to bring people out that, please, let's relax. And then understand the way we're supposed to, you know, live our lives as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And what is our responsibility within the church setting yeah. for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like that is such a wonderful call. But I feel like sometimes this call is made out, but no one is really responding. Why do you feel that this event or this week is what is needed to really revamp that call? Yeah, so uh, I, really, I really want us to, to look at it in this perspective that the role of men within the church, mm -hmm. you know, is so important and can never be overemphasized in such a way that whatever we do in the church is a reflection of what happened within our family mm. as i mentioned the other time yeah so um the program that is being organized we want the men to see themselves coming out taking the position where god has placed them mm. yeah as you know, the priest of the house. As the yeah. priest of the house, God made them the priest of their individual house. Have you ever seen a priest just staying in one corner, not coming out? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a pastor not coming out and then stand on the altar preaching? Have you ever seen someone that said, yes, I'm an evangelist, then I do my evangelist inside my corner? No. That's true. Have you ever seen a teacher? not doing not coming out and stand before the classroom and do the teaching no there's no so that is who god has made us as men so we need to do our make up our responsibility and let the people know that yes we are doing it yeah. and also god will know that we are doing it yeah. so we need to come out and let god's name be glorified within the house of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, sir, I hear everything you're saying. And I should call out to the men. This is your time. Honestly, this is the time to shine, if we really must think about yes. it. Yes. This is the time to shine. Now, your event, I love it, but I'm not going to lie, this is the first time I'm hearing it. I need, you know what I think this needs? It needs the vim that the women's had. Ah, did you see, months before, the women had us, me, me, I was planning to attend. So what can you say, break down, what exactly is happening during this week that everyone needs to come out, especially all the men? What can we really pull out that, hey, this is what's going on, come out, this is going to be the best time. Yeah, I want to start from the, from the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 2, when we had God created Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And called both of them man. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about man, we're talking about the male and female. We're talking about someone that God has made. He made them male and female from the spiritual. Yeah. And brought them together to become one person. So the program is bringing the wife and the husband together on the 20, 28th and 21st of October. Yes. Right? Enjoying ourselves, showcasing what the family is supposed to be and what couple supposed to see in a, their rightful position. So on the 20, 28th, which is Friday of October, mm -hmm. so there's going to be a kind of family event. Okay. Yeah. We call it family event because we are entertaining children as well. Okay. So we're going to be showcasing a kind of a good movie within the church. Do we know the movie? Do you know the yes, movie? Yes, we do. Wait, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it, take it, take it. You guys are going to find out soon. You guys are going to find out soon. Okay, but yeah, so 
family movie night fantastic family movie night and then we have the opportunity of uh, having some popcorn okay. and then you know while we're watching the movie you no know, it's it's involved the the mother father and the children Wonderful. right so but on saturday mm -hmm. that is which is the the real event the that we're of the event, the, yeah. The, yeah the mid of the event also we're organizing a kind of banquet so we call it couples banquet on saturday it's going to start by 4 p.m okay at our tkp pavilion beautiful at this point in time a whole lot of program has been i mic for this event mm -hmm. between husband and wife okay yeah and i want to believe we're going to enjoy it and so much that we really want to reveal, you know, during this program, that husband and wife need to take note of. Mm. For a French, majority has not been, you know, taking note of it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to help us in our individual relationship within the house. That's good. So, and series of events, and then we want people to come out in, in their, their best attire, like you're going to okay, banquet. Okay, Justin Sharp. Black black tie event, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come out. I'll see you guys. Be, be gorgeous as much as gorgeous, you can. Of course. In, you know? So and of course you you should know that there's going to be a lot of drinks and then food. Food, you know, all the stuff. Everyone will enjoy themselves. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So but apart from that, a whole lot of things has been placed in the program mm -hmm. that will help our family yeah. that will help how do we supposed to you know live together take for instance you know we need to understand what is the mind of god concerning husband and wife mm. what are what do we supposed to be looking after the intent of god is that both should live together but most of the time take for instance with with, with we push our focus away from the relationship and we focus on the, on the children. Mm. But eventually, you have the children, they will eventually go out. True. If you look at the book of Psalm 127, the Bible says, children, they are the heritage of the Lord, not heritage of husband and wife. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know. Yeah. Is that you will say the fruit of the womb is God's reward, not the reward of husband and wife. Are you guys okay? Just so, make sure they're listening to eventually. Me. If your marriage revolves around only your children, I'm I'm not saying that you are not doing what is right, but love your children, please. Love your children, but however, eventually it will eventually you no know, be only you and your, and your spouse. Wife. Mm -hmm. That will remain eventually. Yeah. So you need to start cultivating habits of staying together, build that relationship well. You know, build it well. If you look at the way God made it, God created us male and female. Mm -hmm. That is, the male coming from one parent, female coming from another parent, and yeah. brought them together to live and then showcasing the glory of god in the land of the living yeah. but most of the time we tend not to see it that way the focus of god is for us to live a good relationship having god at the fulcrum mm -hmm. as the commander in chief of our, our family yeah. so for this program we are expecting a whole lot to be revealed i just give us a small hint. a little uh me and my please please <laughs> All of our men, honestly, this is truly just a call out to you. You guys love to show your muscle. Come and show your muscle out here during Men's Week. Really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Come and show your muscle. It's not, don't be in the background and come and be in the foreground. You guys are supposed to fight the battles. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Fight spiritual war. Exactly. No, but all jokes aside, truly, all men, please come out to this wonderful event. Please yeah. come out. And I really love how you basically spoke about how this event is really centered towards talking about the different aspects of men the husbandry of men mm -hmm. also the the fatherhood Father. of men. Mm -hmm. very beautiful and i feel like once we encompass that but also understanding that that you that is part of your job as the priest of the home right as the man of the house Fantastic. but you are still men. like 
it's just amazing. And honestly, me, I was blessed just listening to what was said today. So I cannot really wait for October 20th. So you guys, everybody, men, children, children and wives, please encourage your husbands, encourage your fathers to come to this event. And they need to come with your wife. Come with your wife, especially on the 21st. Be sure to yes. come with your wife. Yes. Children, if you want food and popcorn, come on the 20th. On Friday. Come and call them. Well, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Call out to the men one more time. And just to just to cap it up, you know, we we really want, you know, there's this saying that where your where your money is, that is where your mind will be. Mm. Or where your treasure is, your mind will be there. I want all men to be part of this event. You yes. know, come out, support not only the executive, you know, a whole lot is being put together. Of course, you know that we need money, you know, to package things together. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's try to be part of it, no matter what, in your own capacity. Let's try this. This is all the work of God, and this is what God has called us to be, you know. And I know that when you give, it shall be given unto you. Good Amen. measure. Press you know. down, shake it together. Run it over. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for staying tuned in. We have one more short thing, so please stay tuned as we enter the show.